to Business Over Coffee TV. We are back here today with two fantastic people, one of whom is making her debut as the co-host of this show, Caroline Norwood. <laughs> Give it up for Caroline. And Caroline, I was very excited to see that we are going to be talking about this, if you can get a close-up of that. <laughs> because you are one of the fashion models for Dangerous Curves, M.G. Ballard's new spring launch that's coming up. And to talk about that too is Janet Berger, who is a stylist with M.G. Ballard Designs. Let's give her a round of applause for being with us. And before we get into the interview, I want to remind you that Business Over Coffee is where we come together on a regular basis, bringing other people together to share in social media, educational, and networking activities. And we have had a big time today already. The audience has been enthusiastic and excited to, uh, to be with us here at the studio at Ridgeway Business Center. So let's get back to... M.G. Ballard Designs and Janet, your your five-year-old dreams of becoming a fashion. 35. No, when you were five years oh, old, five it says. Years old. Yeah, when you were five yes. years old, you started playing with scraps and and dressing Barbie. Tell tell us about that. Um, a neighbor of mine named Joni, who is a dressmaker in St. Louis right now, we would just use scraps of material from pillowcases, you name it, and we would just cut and paste and and do all kinds of things with our Barbie dolls. And you knew back then that you wanted to have a career in fashion, I says. did, I did. Great, great. So, Caroline, tell us how you stepped into this spotlight of fashion. I know that the family's got some DNA there. <laughs> well, um, I'm just with Fashion Academy, and we met Marva Ballard, and she asked me to model for some of her uh, photo shoots that she had done, and I just fell in love with the clothes, like, just like that. I've... I remember when I was going to meet my boyfriend's parents for the first time and we were taking a long trip. I was like, I have to wear something, you know, that looks good, that's comfortable. And I wore one of Marvel's uh, outfits. And so I think that I love the line, I love the clothes, and it's been a lot of fun. And I just recently met you, and when I heard you're on the show, I was like, I have to host this with Shelly. Oh, that's great. That's great. Well, I'm excited because, honey, you are looking very sassy in this picture. Well, thank you. Yes, she is. So, yeah. <laughs> You are a graduate of the Barbizon Modeling School, Janet. I am. And you are certified as a fashion merchandising professional model. Yes. And tell me how you met Marva. And i got to say to the audience, I was so excited when I met Janet this morning, <laughs> and I realized that she was a stylist with M.G. Ballard. Marva is a prayer partner and has been for mine in a mastermind prayer group. So it was like, God wink. So I texted her real quickly and said, oh, I've just met Janet. And I've heard that you're going to be doing three shows at the Southern Women's Show this weekend. So tell us about how you met Marva. And it was definitely a God wink. On January 27th this year, there was an article in the Commercial Appeal about Marva. And I was so intrigued with the kind of de designs that she described until I wanted to see them. So I just called her up and asked if I come to her studio. And this was on, I didn't actually reach her until February the 4th. And uh, at the time we were just chatting on the phone and she said, you know, she said, um, what do you do? And I told her what job I was in now. And she said, well, let me tell you what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a face. And I'm looking for this particular face for my fashions. And and I'm looking for a model. And I, I said to her, well, I used to model. It's been like 35 years ago, and I'm not that size zero anymore. And she said, well, that's not what I'm looking for. But And she said, I also have a job for uh, as a stylist. And I was like, okay. So she made an appointment to see me on uh, the Thursday, that, that following that Thursday. And I spent three hours with her. And at the end of those three hours, I left out of that door. I was not only a model for the fashion catalog, her spokesmodel for her company and a stylist. Awesome. And I mean, I was just like dropped into my dream. This is the dream in job. One, That's in awesome. one spot. That's great. So. Well, let's give her a round of applause for that. Okay, so you have worked in the corporate world for over 30 years before you came to this dream job. You've helped women build their self-confidence, that's where we're sisters, mm -hmm. and uh, empowering women to be their personal best. Mm -hmm. So what a perfect place for you to be. I have to tell you that right after that article was in the Commercial Appeal, 
they did a makeover for me. Okay. And and I when I see you in April, I'm going to be wearing Barbara's rust color Great. design yeah. that she did for me. Yeah. So I'm really excited about that. Tell us about the Southern Women's Show this weekend, and then also tell us about this April uh, sixth event that's coming up. Okay, the Southern Women's Show is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday of this weekend. We have three fashion shows, uh, two in the evening there after 5 o'clock and one on Sunday at 1 o'clock. And um, Marvin's new uh, spring line will be shown Dangerous at that time. Dangerous curves. <laughs> I had it on, a lot of those things on yesterday. I think I had on like maybe 14 or 15 different pieces, and they all oh. fit perfect. And it's just got to be incredible to see it. And do they have, have turquoise for me? They do have turquoise. Oh, and incidentally, <laughs> when I met with Marvin the very first time, I had on some turquoise shoes. Good. <laughs> Great. Awesome. Great so tell the listeners and the viewers how it is they can get in touch with you if they want to schedule an appointment or if they want to come to the April 6th event. If you want to come to the April 6th event, it will be downtown at the studio, which is at 44 North 2nd Street, Suite 101. And if you want to personally get in touch with me, um, you can call me at my, my cell number at 316-207-8428. And do you have a website that they can go to? We do have a website. It is www.dangerouscurves, with an S, collection.com. Awesome. Great. Well, thank you so much for being with us today. Now. Is also on the tech team here at Business Over Coffee and a phenomenal photographer. I was I was just so blessed to be able to introduce her to someone who wanted a very professional shoot and often she does these really quirky angles and everything but she also knows how to do just straight out fashion photography. Talk to us about that Caroline. Well uh, my photography is CN Photography, Caroline Nord Photography and uh, I travel to you. Um, I've learned a lot being with the OCI. I love doing the technology and everything like that. It's given me a great chance to grow and I've met, like Shelly was saying, I met Shelly and she introduced me to WBEC, which I did a photography for that event and it's just been really great. You can get in touch with me at uh, cenorwood at live, L-I-V-E dot com or you can call me uh, at 901-550-2795. Awesome. Well, thank you both for being here today. I know that you're here all the time, Caroline. We've got activities coming up every Thursday of every month right here live at Ridgeway Business Center and also virtually for those of you who are watching us online. As Sherry likes to say, if you want to join the conversation on Twitter, uh, join us at B.O. Coffee, and that's our Twitter handle. Also, hashtag B-O-C-I, hashtag Memphis. And if you want to get in touch with me, if you, I've had people come up to me at the break during, during the day today saying, how can I get in touch with you about your communications coaching? They can reach me at Shelly, S-H-E-L-L-E-Y, at ShellyBauer.com. And they can follow the Integrity-Based Communications blog at www.integritybasedcommunications, that's plural, <laughs> dot com. And we'll be having something about this on there too, I can assure you. But speaking of blogging, we got to talk about another fashionista over there, Miss Cheryl Hurley, who owns The Stylist Quo, and she is blogging live right now as we're doing BOC TV. <laughs> and Cheryl, tell them how they can reach you. Okay, well, you can see the blog, or you can see my personal blog at thestylistquo.com. I also run a social media marketing group at sqmodernmedia.com. You can go there and find out pretty much everything about me. I don't leave much. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was watching as O was in the process of getting engaged to Miss Miss uh, Stylist Quo over here, Cheryl. <laughs> yeah, so we're yeah we're um, we're talking about the wedding as we go, so you can just get into my life and stay there. <laughs> so would you say that you have the dream job that you always wanted? Mm -hmm. I had the same dream as uh, as Janet when I was young. Interesting. I would just sketch and sketch and sketch all day long. And now you have an opportunity to showcase vintage fashions, mm -hmm. which is one of your passions. Yeah. You know, I just stopped to think that we have four women who are really following their dream and living on purpose. I love it. <laughs> well, thank you for being with us today on BOC TV, and we look forward to seeing you next time. In the meantime, we're going to bring everybody together. And thanks again to Cheryl, to Caroline, and also to Janet for being with us today on BOCI-TV.